What's going on guys? Grand Dark Elf here and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, you guys have been showing a tremendous amount of support lately on my videos. Uh, I want to see if this can at least hit 5 likes. If we can get 5 likes on this video, I will actually post the next episode of Edith Finch um, for the next video. So uh, the power is in your hands. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video. Leave a like, it really does help out. Subscribe if you're new, joining the hashtag GDE fam today, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, enjoy the video of what remains of Edith Finch. Now, I have not played this game, I have not watched anything on it, so this is going to be a full blind playthrough the entire game, all the way through. And let's get started. Standing button, all right. And be sure, as always, if you like this playthrough, leave a like and subscribe, so. Music is a bit too loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. Brightness a bit higher. All right, we're good. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Oh, okay, we're playing. Okay, cool. So she's, so she's like telling a story, and we're playing the story out. I like that kind of, I like this kind of games. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Oh, I wonder why. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent. Open immediately. All right. Oh, okay, that's me. Michael. Right, cool. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, man. Okay, just opens like that. Okay, cool. Oh, the layers. That was cool. Cool transitions like that, like will, that. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. What mystery? Okay, I mean, I'm already intrigued. So, if you guys like those kind of content, please be please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the joining the hashtag GDE Fem today. Um, I uploaded two videos. One was Star Wars Episode Nine reaction trailer, uh, and then also another one was uh, yesterday was Star Wars: The Clone Wars Season Seven reaction. Uh, you, you guys seem to really like those. Uh, mainly, mainly my channel is focused on games, so but I do reactions and in the, in the, I do reactions now too, just because it's fun. Actually, I really enjoy them. Uh, the, the next one is coming up really soon. It's going to be from the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order trailer. Be sure to check that out. I'll be doing that very soon. After this goes up, I'll be doing that as well. All right, here we go. Back to the game. And now plugging. <clears throat> no one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. Ooh, a deer. Okay. 
The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Ooh, I like that. There's the house. I want to see this stuff, actually. See if I can interact with any of this. Nope. Alright. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17 year old, <clears throat> I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh. <clears throat> Let's look through it. Let's look through the front door. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> the backyard and stuff. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Were they supposed to go out through that way? The power had been turned off the night we left. Wow. Uh, I guess I can't go under, under there no more. I guess this was the right way to go. Alright, let's get going. Let's search through the house. And cover the mysteries. Hopefully it's not a horror game. I'm not really a fan of those. Unless I'm not playing them, I'm fine. <clears throat> For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Wow. What happened to her family, like... But instead <clears> of <throat> the family, they were just memories of one. Her family... Dead or something? What happened to her family? <coughs> Louis Finch. Wow. Another memory of Louis Finch. December 27th, 1988 to November 21st, 2010. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great-grandson to Eddie. Mem uh, memorial service, Finch Family or Cemetery. 2141 Fireweed Road. Okay, so Lewis Finch is dead. I love the piano music. I love that so much. I'm a metalhead at heart. I'm a metalhead. I love metal, but my god, I really love piano music when it's played the right way. For emotional reasons. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Apple pot. Ooh, that actually looks bomb. This cup sliced peeled tart apples. Yeah, that's a recipe. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm getting kind of. I'm, I'm. I'm still recovering from a sickness. I'm getting better though. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Ah, gotcha. Because uh, they're probably so far far away from society that only one place can actually go out all the way out there to bring them food. Uh, I'm going to order today. Imperial Palace. How long have you been here? Have you not been here for? Holy God. Wow, the household. Look how much fucking fish is still here. That must be really rank. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off. Killing everyone, but sparing the furniture. But what happened? That blood or wine? I don't know. Wow. Oh, okay, that's wine. Okay, I thought that was blood. I, I didn't look at that. That was... That was Eddie. Oh my, oh my. So Eddie actually was using oxygen, so he he was disabled. Wow. 
My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, so Great Grandma Eddie. Okay, Great Grandma Eddie. So Eddie was, Eddie was using oxygen. So she, and then we found out that she was using oxygen, and she was gonna be put into a nursery home. Wow, what? Holy God! They sure knew how to live, though. Jesus Christ, this house is gorgeous on the inside. Oh, look at Orca. Cool. Oh, public market. <clears throat> Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Okay, so there's like an overall abundance in the house. Like there's so much in the house, it kind of freaked her out. I see, I see, okay. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. What? Okay, that's cool. Right, that's a cool transition. All right, so her name was not Eddie. It's Edie. Okay, I keep thinking Eddie. I don't know. I'm reading it wrong. Whatever. Oh. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. All right. I was going to put the Y button does as well. Oh, Blue Jay. Bluebird. Oh, shit. Ugh. Fuck that. Um... Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Okay, so Great Grandpa Sven built the built this for Barbara, but uh, Great Grandfather Sven also built the house too. I guess. Okay, interesting. He has a knack for uh, architecture. I can tell him that from how the house is built. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but <clears throat> she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Wait, what? Milton Finch. Oh, he went missing. Oh, did he die? How did he go missing? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Okay, I'm, what happened that night? What, 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 okay, what's going on here? A lot of information I'm trying to process here. Edie told me once that every Finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Okay, okay. Every finch who's ever lived has been buried in the library, as in probably the history of the finches. That's a cool looking library as well, holy crap. Probably for, uh, Evie. Oh, wait, 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 Before I go upstairs, there was a key I have, and it can be used right here. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, so the key doesn't fit. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Mom. All right, let's go up. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. So they went to that door. All right, something's in there. <clears throat> Something else for, for us to find. Ooh. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This is cool. Like an aqua room. I like this. This is a cool looking room. Got the shark down here, followed by some fishes. Is that the house? Oh, you do the you do the house. There's the shark again. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Aha! Uh -huh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. All right, let's look in here. Teapot. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Yeah. 
he drew a little kitten and wrote his and then he uh, titled it Milton. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. This my room when I was a kid? Well, when she was a little kid? Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Wow. Molly. December 13th, 1947. <clears throat> Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh, I'm playing with the little kid. Oh, it looks so cute. Wait, 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 wait. Look at me, look at my feet. Oh, my pajamas. Fishy. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Why would she send you without food? How oh, fucked up, even for a parent. Why would you send your son, your daughter, to bed without food? My Halloween candy was all gone. I would have saved that just in case that shit happened. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Is the gerbil dead? I don't see the gerbil anywhere. Can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. But you didn't give me any food. I just ate fucking dribble food. I kept eating and eating. Oh, she can eat the toothpaste? No. Oh. I ate a lot of things that night. It was fake. Oh no, I think the kid's gonna die of poisoning or something. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I like how it's narrated by the kid and also when the words pop up, it's like she wrote it. I love that. I reached out for her. And suddenly... What the hell? I was a cat! Oh, cool! That's so trippy. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I think it's just the imagination of her. I think she's just having her imagination now. That she's a kitten. Or she's a cat. Come here, birdie. Where'd you go? Got the purring, too. There it is, right there. Nah, it's too far a leap. You real shit. Come here. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Oh shit. <laughs> wow, this is a fucked up family. Why would they not even look at her for? What does this kid even do to deserve that neglect?
Hi, birdie. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little shit. Stop running from me. I ha. did, and I almost got her. Oh, no. I'm probably going to run another cat, aren't I? Meow. Meow. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. But... All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Wait, what? This is the junior heaven? Oh, you fell. Oh my god. And suddenly, I was an owl. Oh, what? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna have ragdolls fought a, a shark right going down a, a mountain. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier Better. than ever. Alright, so I think fish now. I wanted fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Yo, what's wrong with you? I Come here. Tight. Oh, I'm so hungry. I jumped out of the water. Oh when shit! When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What the fuck? Are we an octopus or some shit? We must be an octopus. We have to be an octopus. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Oh, we're, mo we're a monster? Okay. Yeah, this is having imaginations now. This is cool, I like this. I was big, but I moved real quiet. 
Come here. This kid has an active imagination, like, no I fucking joke. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Okay. Ew, what the hell? Is the monster real? All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. What is this kid writing? Is it what really happened to Molly Finch? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay, so we're up there. Oh, it's not. Oh, these, these are all of the Finch, all the Finch members. Okay, so there's us, uh, Edith, with the phone. Uh, looking all emo as fuck. Uh, then we have Molly, who was born in 1937, and then she died in 1947. But how did she die? I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. Oh, she died at a young age then. Wow. Yes, I yes, that's cat. Hi, kitty. Oh. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Let the past so, die. When we adopted a stray kitten, okay. she was the one who named it Molly. Oh, okay. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. But Great Grandma Edie was obviously still on oxygen. Okay, she liked to she liked to paint. Edie it looks like a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. All right, so Edie liked to also do things. All right, she liked, she liked to knit for people. Built 1937, Sven Finch. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. 
Oh, so Sven died by a collapse by a collapsed uh, thing. Wow. Ah, oh, damn. Is, is all of our family that dead? This is what I'm getting from all this shit I'm looking at. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. All right, how did Lewis die? Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Okay, what's the family curse? On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. What the hell? Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Wow. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Wow. Whatever's All wrong right. with this family, it goes back a long ways. So Odin Finch, born in 1880 and died in 1937 from, I guess, that... That... That thing... That 40-foot wave that destroyed his home and put him under the sea. Holy God. Wow. The Mysteries of Death and Thereafter, and thereafter by Odin Finch. I see kind of cool. We're like living through their eyes. Great essentially. grandma had always been the family's biggest fan. Yeah, I can see that. She has like a lot of stuff. You have the handprints and prints of every uh, Finch family member: Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter, Don, Gus, Gregory, Lewis, Milton, Edith. Ma that's me. She doesn't have Odin Finch. I guess you didn't know Odin Finch that. I'm not sure if she did or didn't. I'm not sure. Anything else to look around here for? Oh, I used to have one of those. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh my god. The only wow. trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It's disgustingly pink. Oh my god. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah. You think? Ooh. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Evie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Ooh. Dude, this house is incredible. There's so many, like, hidden compartments and everything. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. <sighs> he never put it down. So this is just like a, uh... One of those rooms where you gotta... Use chemicals and stuff to expose film. Yeah, so it looks like. Uh, guys, if you're liking this playthrough, leave a, leave a like and comment below of what you guys want, what you guys want me to play next because this is incredible. Oh, Milton was here too, again.
Calvin's room, huh? Well, I can tell that he was a freedom fighter, it looks like. He sure liked his war. Oh, he didn't like war, but it looks like he... He's a very patriotic American. Fort Calvin. The command center. Oh, that's kind of cool. SLR photo. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Why? I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh. Uh, oh shit. Haha, <laughs> cool. <clears throat> How I want to remember my brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind. Alright guys, that concludes this episode of What Remains of Edith Finch. I'll be back for the next episode later on. Uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and Grand Dark Elf her out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, peace.